on Brian back with another live stream. How's everybody doing today? So uh, we are here with some Dead Island. Um, I've never played this game before. Uh, you know, it came out probably when I was in the military and uh, legitimately have never. I, I don't know anything about this game. All I know is that it's the same people who made Dead uh, Dying Light, which I have played Dying Light 1 and 2. But uh, yeah, I never went back and checked out this the, the actual origination of this. And I know a lot of people say, you know, it's one of the most iconic. It's one of the most, you know, it, it's one of the games that helped build the, the genre, you know what I mean, of zombie survival games. Uh, so I felt like, you know, I should probably play it. You know what I mean? And on top of that, the Dead Island 2 tra trailer was just released. So knowing that that's coming out now, I'm like, you know what? Let me jump in. Let me check out this Dead Island. Let me see what you guys think about the game. And then um, we'll go from there. And uh, But I can't be super excited about the second one if I haven't even played the first one yet. You know what I mean? So here we are. Uh, we're going to jump in, check this out. And uh, from what all you guys are saying, it's going to be good. And I'm excited, really, really excited. And maybe I'll then understand the quote that everybody keeps saying about voodoo. Voodoo. Some, uh, yeah, Casper sent it to me earlier. He said something about uh, how do you voodoo, bitch, or something like that. And I was like, what? What? What does that mean? <clears throat> uh, Kyle, how you doing? But thank you guys all for coming and hanging out today. Uh, get this going. <clears throat> now this is the, the definitive edition so uh it's probably gonna look better will i 100 percent all side missions prop uh, we're, we're gonna play the game as, as in full as i possibly can fangs that go bump in the night what the jesus me jerk Shandy. Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, butcher style, gators in the swamp. Red light, leave them dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody, what you know who I am. You have any idea who you can talk to? Or maybe you saw me in the play. I played for the fucking goddamn champions. I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Watch it. Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Well, there it is. B got the thing that go bump in the night. Whoa. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. Sam B to Papa Sean go on Barrett Samedi. Hand full of fingertips, yeah. toss them up like confetti. Stay full of corpse bitches, I'm a pimp of the dead. Come fuck with a Another zombie, drunk I'm chair, a stick in your head. Look, kid. you want ghouls like a fucking stupid Stupid kid. Maybe everybody dies and see your ass real soon. Rack bones to the middle. <laughs> this dude's getting his ass kicked, man. Sir, looks like you've had enough. What's your room number? Who do you voodoo, bitch? I'll make sure you get there safe and sound. Excuse me, lady. Are you okay? Uh, can you hear me? What are you doing, sir? Cut this is the woman's restroom. Oh, shit. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Arms off on my bare hand. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Smack your mama. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Yeah, the song was type fire, guys. Not even gonna lie. Okay. Well, here we are, guys. Dead Island. Uh, yeah, so this is just I had to make sure that the uh, the game uh, loaded and worked properly uh, So as you can see it's it's 22 seconds, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete that Okay, so we'll go new game Okay, yeah, so this was the it seems like you get to choose different survivors, which is cool. So this guy's a throwing expert. 
Health 100, speed 100, stamina 80. Uh, she is a firearms expert. Sharp weapons expert. Or a blunt weapons expert. Oh, there's more guys. Um, this is Ryder. Hmm. So I'm thinking of either going with her. Because sharp weapons expert sounds dope. Being able to use like bladed weapons and shit. Maybe get some decapitations and stuff. Or maybe him. Oh, don't pick Ryder. Got you. I think I might go with the sharp at weapons expert. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. My father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. Even though he died when I was 10, I remember him very well. He was killed by an enforcer for the Wo Xing Wo Triad. And I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard. I did my best. But the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. They were only for show. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer, to spy on wealthy Westerners. My father would not be proud of me. This work dishonors his memory. But I will do as they ask, for I am a patriot. But I know I am capable of much, much more. I just need the opportunity to prove myself. All right, so I don't know what this means here. Play in one punch mode. I, I I don't know what that means, so I probably shouldn't click that. Right? Do you want to enable one punch mode? This mode only available in Singapore. If enabled, you will not gain. Anything. I don't know what that means, so no, we're definitely not doing that. Uh, good panda, how you doing? Uh, thank you guys uh, for coming and hanging out. We're only seven minutes into the stream, and we already got over 120 likes. You guys are insane. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm kind of excited. But do all of the people, do all of the people have a backstory like that? Let me see. Now I'm kind of curious. I, I know it's gonna take a, a minute or two, but I, I just kind of want to hear everybody's backstory. Oh man. Yeah, okay. I used to be on top of the world, brother. All-pro quarterback, four years running. Voted the sexiest Texan in 2004. Yeah, man, I beat out Dennis Quaid and Matthew McConaughey, for Christ's sake. Yeah, so I drank a few beers now and then, popped occasional pill. That's nothing compared to what the team quacks would shoot me up with just so I could play. And sometimes I just need to numb the pain, you know what I'm saying? My biggest vice was speed. No, not meth, buddy. Adrenaline. I blew every penny I had on the fastest cars I could find. Just so you know, I'm a damn good driver. If that asshole I was street racing hadn't sideswapped me, I never would have crashed. And that, uh, that poor girl would still be alive. Damn. That's right. That's right. It's his goddamn fault. I shattered my leg in six goddamn places. So I had a few drinks in me. So what the fuck? I drive drunk better than I do sober anyway. Of course, couldn't play worse shit after that. After I got out of jail, I canned my ass and I violated the morals clause on my goddamn contract. Ended up playing semi-pro in fucking Canada. <sighs> but I'm still a name. Oh yeah, I'm still a celebrity. That's why they wanted me to promote their blood drive here. That's why they fucking flew me first class halfway around the goddamn world. Because my name still means something. Logan Carter. Is no goddamn douchebag. There it is. Logan Carter. Alright, so Perna here. Let's see what she has to say. I hate rich assholes. 
which is fucking ironic, since I'm expected to put my bloody life on the line for them. That's a really nice gun. Me. This pricey hotel here? To be a bodyguard for the rich and famous fuckwits who come to Benoy to blow their money. I used to be a cop, a bloody good one. A vice detective in Sydney. Mm. You know how many female half Aborigine detectives there were before me? None. <laughs> you think it was easy? Suffering the abuse of my so called colleagues. Half of them hated me because I was a girl, and the other half didn't like the fact that my mum was a curry. So I came up the hard way. I busted my ass. It took me 12 years to make detective, and that still wasn't enough. It's an old boys club, you know? The whole justice system is a fucking joke. Teenage drug addicts get put away forever, and old white wankers who steal fucking millions get away scot-free. <laughs> One rich bugger I investigated was clearly molesting his 14-year-old daughter. But he had too much pull with the politicians, so I couldn't touch him. After the girl killed herself, I confronted him, but he just laughed at me. He pulled out a pistol and told me he could blow my bleeding head off and no one would care. Because I was nothing. A nobody. An abo bitch. So I fucking took his gun away and shot the bastard. It was self-defense, but I still got sacked. Twelve bloody years down the drain. Worst part is, I didn't even kill the son of a bitch. I just gelded him. One day, I'm gonna have to go back and finish the job. Damn, dude. That's fucking deep, bro. Grizz, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it. Yo, Brian, this game is good. Very intense and has somewhat of a story. I literally bought it again today because uh, of Dead Island 2. Yo, that, that, I, it's my first time ever playing it, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, and then I believe... You guys said the other guy's DLC, right? So, yeah, we won't mess with him. So, we got Sam B. Wasn't this the performer who was on, on the stage? I grew up in New Orleans, Lower Ninth Ward. My daddy went to prison when I was two. Maybe not. That's where he died. Kind of looks like him. Mama didn't ever recover from that. Just drank and did crack. And any random motherfucker who didn't smack her around too bad. My nana the one who raised me. She run the Walsh Interior. We lived in a little shotgun house on Burgundy. From the time I was 10, man, I want to rap. I was into old school freestyle rap. And I'd be kicking ass at them battles, bro. But man, just couldn't catch a break. Nothing caught on. So, one Halloween, I come up with, who do you voodoo, bitch? Just as a motherfucking joke, you know? We're right to the top of the hip hop charts like a motherfucking rocket. And then suddenly, I was famous. Going to the Grammys, hitting the parties. Man, I had bitches up to yin yang. And for the first time in my life, I was making money. Shit. I was spending it as quick as I was getting it. I thought I'd made it, you know what I'm saying? That that gravy train wasn't there going in. So I did another song, and another song, and nothing hit. Nothing fucking hit. Song after song, and ain't nobody give a shit. Been 10 years, man. Yeah, I can still get gigs, but all they want me to do is, who do you voodoo, bitch? <sighs> I used to play the big casinos in Vegas or Atlanta City. Now it's just Reno or Laughlin. Some motherfucking cruise shit. So this gig here might be my last chance. I mean, there's some heavy Hollywood hitters up in there. If I could notice, yeah, I could be right back up on top there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, well, now we got a little bit more uh, backstory on these guys. I still think I'm going to go with the bladed weapon chick. She seems really cool. Um, and if this game is anything like Dying Light, guns are going to be kind of an afterthought. And uh, the melee weapons are where it's at. So I'd rather be good with bladed weapons. And uh, I don't know if we start with a bladed weapon. Because if we start with that, that would be sick. All right, but let's go with her. My father was a very great man. New game. All right, let's do it, guys. Ooh. 
Wasn't she in the bathroom with that zombie on the floor? In that intro? I gotta lower my sensitivity a little bit really quick, guys. Uh, mouse sensitivity. Okay, we're gonna lower it a little more. This game's pretty sensitive. Okay, so I don't know if this is the- oh, okay, here we go. I'll take it the looting in this game is just like, uh, like, like Dying Light. Yo, it actually looks pretty good graphically. How old is this game? Okay, so there's nothing in here. We heard somebody screaming out here. Let's get out. Okay, I could punch. I don't know if these guys are... I'm just trying to find any resources that we can before we... Can't hurt to look. Deodorant? Shit. So I think they're dead. Empty. Shirley with the 18 months. <laughs> Thank you so and I don't know about that. That's pretty that's a lot, Shirley. And um Exactinace, thank you so much for the two months. I really appreciate you. Okay, so we're finding some money. I don't know what money's useful for, but finding it. Okay. Awesome. We got a flashlight. Uh, let me go ahead and change my uh, crouch really quick. Sorry, guys. It always takes me a minute to uh, to get set up in a game. I got to make sure my controls are good. Key bindings. Here we go. Okay. So jump, duck. Sprint shift, get in and out. Med kit is H. Attack, throw, reload, kick, stomp. Disease, fury mode, flashlight. Oh, there's vehicles in this game? Okay, there we go. Oh shit, that's really cool. That, that's pretty cool mechanic right there with the mouse. I've never seen anything like that in a game before. Uh, Cynthia, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Yo, it is pretty damn dark, dude. Holy crap. Maybe there's something in here. Got a belt. This is Hotel Emergency Broadcast System. Please leave your apartment immediately. Follow signs to the nearest staircase. For safety reasons, all elevators are offline. Please remain calm and follow the instructions of the hotel personnel. 
Oh shit. Large battery. Okay, so we're hey we're we're getting pretty good money here. I don't know how to Okay, so we don't got a map inventory. Here we go. I'm already up to four hundred and eighty six dollars cash. I don't know if that's a lot, but So take it, we're going back inside. Taking the stairs. To the nearest staircase. For safety reasons, all elevators are offline. Okay, I guess we're gonna what, open up the hatch maybe or climb up. Dude, I was like, no way they're going to start me off fighting zombies like that. I can see it through the camera. Feeling all right, mate? The shakes? Fever? Chills? Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we got to get you the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're going to have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I wouldn't move if I were you. Now... Maybe there's something useful. Shit, man. Okay, we got zombies down the hall here. It's the infected. Run, run for the storage room. Just a big pilot. Oh, the, yo, they sound so fast. Take it with a sub. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Sweet Mary, Mother of Jesus. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? Screw it. 
Those things came for us, and Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. Oh my God! What if he's dead? Why won't anyone help him? We can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. Don't let him die. I'm supposed to go out there, but lady, I don't even have a fucking weapon, man. Is there a weapon in here? Help him! You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Please! He's the only one protecting us. There it is. Got a fucking right. paddle. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fucking three. Smash this door. But his paddle is putting in work, dude. That's the last one. Okay, then. Thanks, mates. Yo, the paddle was actually really good. Just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation by air, by sea, but first you need to get here to me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. I found you. You beat up pretty bad. Okay. Uh, the prologue and... Thanks to you. I was touching go with you for a while. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. Then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? This game actually looks really good, you know, for, for its age. I would put this on par with, like, Dying Light 1, you know what I mean? Shot I put it on par with Dying Light 2. Okay, here we go. I'll do my best. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. Okay, so Bungalow 11. Looks like there's more quests around here, too. Okay, so items, it's just like dying, I think, items have uh, durability. Day. 
Yeah, everybody was leaving, but not me. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Okay. Let's do it. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, <laughs> where the hell else am I gonna go? It's in the Book of Revelations. Okay, so let me see here. We got... Okay, so I got the map here. Um... I think once we get outside, it'll show, uh... Oh, I could, I could pick what quest I want to track. Okay, so yeah, we could pick which one we want to track. Uh, we'll do this side quest really quick, the Lost. Okay, hold middle mouse button. Okay, so I got two paddles. This one's half... Half beat. What is this? Battered broomstick? I don't know how durable weapons are, so I'm gonna kinda grab anything that we see for now. Okay, so the, the drinks here are, what, health? Dalian, thank you so much for the 10 months. I really appreciate that. And happy birthday. Let's get some happy birthdays in the chat. That's awesome. Okay, so this, I'll take it. We could probably pick that up, use it as an explosive. All right, cool. All right, so I'm trying to track this quest. Oh, you guys can't see. I'm covering the mini-map. Uh, I might be able to move myself this game. Yeah. So you guys can see the mini map. Um, but when I, I, I click track and it, you can't like track this one. It doesn't show up like this one does. Like this one actually shows up on the mini map. Daniel with the birthday. Hey, happy birthday, man. What do we have here? Ooh, Frimsy. Brass knuckles. So let me see. Is there like an inventory? Yep, here we go. Um, oh, there's also skills. So we have fury, combat, and survival. Uh, fury. Is your most lethal skills. Combat. Sharp weapons are more efficient. Um, okay. And then survival. Med kits are 25% more effective. That's pretty good. Lock picking. Okay, so some of these survival skills seem pretty important. Hmm. Oh, green screen. Gotcha. I think I'm going to go with the survival. Uh, I don't know. This seems like I was doing pretty decent damage. So I'm going to go with survival skills right off the bat. We'll focus on, on those. this another another battle paddle so that's what i wanted to check inventory okay so we have a bunch of don't play i got you not at all i heard you stomping oh. 
Um, okay, so we're going to equip that. Oh, I want to try to equip the brass knuckles. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we got the bra brass knuckles. Uh, this is the rusty metal rod paddle. Alright, we're good to go. Let's keep moving. Ah, uh, Slick, I appreciate that, man. It really means a lot. She tried to get me back because I scared her earlier when she was on stream. It doesn't seem to be much over here. Should probably save those energy drinks, right? Instead of drinking them. Blue Assassin with the five gifted members. Holy crap, thank you so much. Okay, yeah, so these weapons break quick, these paddles. So good thing we're picking up extra weapons. Uh, ooh, nice. So we got a crowbar right there. There's going to be another zombie in here. Oh. Okay, so we got like a little kick too. So we could drop waypoints on the map. Um, so I'm kind of going the, in the opposite direction of where the mission is. Is that a person? Yo, that, that damn, uh, that thing broke on me, man. Okay, so she's good with bladed weapons. Decap on that, hell yeah. There we go. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Jesus Christ. If you hadn't come along, you, you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the water sports rental kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. I could use a little health. Here we go. There's a table inside you can use to repair your weapons. Look, take whatever you want. So he says there's a table inside you can use to repair your weapons. I have to get some rest. Oh. 
I'll rest up and then head out to meet my wife. Okay, so we can upgrade, repair, and create. So I can repair my weapons. Um, ooh, I wonder. So what does it take to repair it? Does, does this say what the cost is? Oh, money. Okay, so it just costs a little bit of money. To repair that. Um... Upgrades cost money too. So that that that's all it costs is just some money. It's fairly cheap too to upgrade. Hell yeah. Cleaver doesn't have a lot of range to it. It's not the greatest thing ever, but we we're able to dump some upgrades into there. And then we can also create. So exploding meat. Blunt shock mod and a ripper mod. Yeah, we don't have any of that stuff right now. So I upgraded the cleaver, though. I would have died out there without you. Oh, nice. Got a little diving knife here. Oh, I don't want to drop my cleaver. Hold on. So let me, uh... Let me make some space in my inventory, because I feel like I, uh... Just can't pick up every weapon we see. So all this crap we'll get rid of. I'll keep the rusty pipe. Keep that. We'll get rid of the wooden plank. Okay, there we go. Let's head over to the main missionary. I don't want to get too sidetracked over here. Do you voodoo? Wow, nice. Got a uh, a bat there. Maybe I'll swap that out with my uh. I'll go with the. Frail baseball bat here. I'll equip that. So right now I can only have two weapons equipped at a time. Yeah, this one has a little more range to it. Maybe there's something useful. Okay, so how do you get rid of a waypoint that you put down? Oh, there we just click it. Got it. A battered broomstick. So is there like a way to block? <laughs> Ooh, yo! This chick is lethal with this damn, uh, cleaver, man.
Okay, so we got a couple zombies down that way. Uh, we're gonna obviously have to go past them. Who else? Weapon durability is lasting okay. Still chewing through it pretty quick, even on an upgraded weapon. Having rain like like having a longer weapon would be so legit. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Um because you gotta get pretty close to the zombies when you're using the short cleaver. Maybe there's something in here. Yeah, boy, thank you so much for the sub. I really do appreciate it. Um, some more brass knuckles. No thanks. Those were heavy brass knuckles? Which ones do we have? I thought they said flimsy brass knuckles. Once your health is full, is there there's no point in picking up these energy drinks, right? Check. Oh, flimsy heavy knuckles, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, the, the reason why I, uh, these are just the energy drinks. That's why I wasn't picking them up. I was just avoiding them. There's no point. So, unless alcohol is a component. Yeah, it's money.
Oh my god. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh god. You all right, dude? I'm sorry. My wife. My, my dad. Oh, fuck. My own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's rough, dude. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be blown through med or er, weapons pretty quick uh, with this low durability. This is Roger Howard on a special assignment on the island of Banoi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear-cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. I've been told that my life might be in danger as those behind this illegal activity will stop at nothing to protect their criminal enterprise. As a precaution, I will be leaving a trail of recordings wherever I go so that if something were to happen to me, the truth would still be told. I'm leaving now to meet with an informant who I believe could rip the lid off of this investigation. <laughs> almost, almost. Okay, so there's the key card that we were looking for. That kick is pretty good, man. The kick is pretty good. I told you to stay away. Why wouldn't you listen to me? Let's get back. What the hell is wrong with this place? Uh, check in the settings because you have the zombie health and indicated. Yeah, well, I don't want them on. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want health bars. I find health bars would be pretty immersion breaking in, in most games. Your inventory is full again of weapons. <laughs> This weapon's about to break. Heavy pipe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh Uh, George wants to give away a copy of this uh, for Steam for any of you guys that uh, want to try. Uh, Beautiful. We're for gonna a moment, set up a raffle. You can almost forget. Uh, I'll tell you guys when it's. Yeah, that 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 Cleaver's about to break. I'm not gonna keep fixing it. Um, got this one too. I got another one. Oh, we could try this diving knife here. This one might be worth uh, keeping for right now. Let me see. It was fast. We'll see how, how good the knife is.
right, Izzy, you're immune to this. But we no you did it? You. All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. I didn't see you out there. We are not safe here, mate. Nailed mod. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Too easy. It's pretty easy. Only one skull? Yes. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. It should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. Okay, so now we gotta go ahead and... Okay, so yeah, this is up past the way we just... We were going. Uh, where we got the workbench and stuff. It's not much further than that. So we've already partially cleared this area out. Yo, I do like the uh, the vibes I'm getting from this. Hey, W Cube, we're thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Could check up here, see if there's anything on this little island. Watch that stamina. That shit creeps up on you quick. And guys, I want to thank you for almost 500 likes before an hour. That has to be a record. Holy crap. I really appreciate it. Got these guys cleared out. The knife's not bad. The only problem is uh, durability. I'm pretty sure later on, um, is there ways to like increase the durability on weapons? Uh, assassin poison mod. Assassin's poison mod. Well, let me go ahead and drop some of this bad stuff. Like, uh. We'll drop these for right now. Canned food, drink. So this island was a nice little area to come to. We got a, a, a mod.
I'm gonna swing by here. I'm gonna upgrade and um, upgrade and repair this knife. Okay, so I got the nailed mod here. I can actually craft one. Let's go ahead and uh, create that with the frail baseball bat. Awesome. Yep. Okay, so we just made a new weapon. We're going to go ahead and repair this. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade the the knife too. I wonder if I should upgrade that uh, nailed baseball bat that we just... Oh, we can we not? Oh, we got to repair it first. Okay. Yo, the upgrades actually add quite a bit of damage. And it adds durability. Okay, and then I'm gonna repair that baseball bat that we just made. And then we'll upgrade it. There we go. So we got our knife, and then we got our baseball bat. I want to check this bat out, too. I hope that hurt. Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit, they're so fast. Dude, that throw is so good. Yo, they're so fast. Uh, homemade knife. Sure, we'll grab that. Yo, I mean, it's kind of like a, a viral, yeah, like from uh, from Dying Light. I'm worried about getting like multiples of these. Let's right, check the map. Uh, yeah, so we can go up to this dock area here and take the the dock inward there and that will get us to where we need to go Who else? that's how we had 30 bucks that that's like two upgrades right there Okay, so I believe it was, yeah, yeah, this wooden dock here could get us up there. Getting better. Woo
I think there was a weapon chest back here. Strong stick. Requires level three. I can't even use that yet. Uh, we're going to grab it, though. We'll definitely grab it. I got another point, too. Um... Kills gain stamina. Uh, you're less likely to attack. Oh. So is there like a little bit of a stealth uh, aspect to this game? Oh, I am level three. Yeah, so I can, I can use that. I think we might go here combat. Unleash your fury to use your most lethal skills to quickly deal with nearby enemies. Blood Rage. When the rage meter is full, hold Z to activate your special fury skill. Okay. Clear out my inventory real quick. Gotta get rid of some of these rusty pipes. Um, I was going to say, we need a little bit of health, but we should be okay. Should be able to find some on my way up here. I don't want to use a health pack. We don't have to. So I got to open this up, get in there and clear it out. What if I can draw them over here? So the kill can kill zombies when they're on the ground too, or the kick. The zombie was tenderizing the shit out of that dude, man.
Oh, shit. Okay, that didn't work. Um... That didn't work. Stamina, get our stamina. <laughs> Got him. Yo, those dudes are pretty strong, man. Hey, Sipes, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. All right, yeah, we're going to repair our bat. Out. Repeat, all engines are out. Ground control is We're making an emergency landing north of the city. In the jungle. To all stations, I repeat. What happened to my flashlight? Oh, it's dying. Oh. I think the last spot we got to check is upstairs. Thomas Lee, how you doing today? Mayday, Mayday. This is Oceanic Flight 1012. All engines are out. Repeat, all engines are out. Ground control, do you read? We're making... Three up here. Adam, thank you for the sub. Try to do two at a time. It was close.
Okay, so I got the fury built up or whatnot. But then I just killed all the zombies, so... There's that. Okay, so this area seems pretty clear. Can't fool me. I knew you could do it. Hang tight, okay? We're coming right now. Everybody pack up. We're on our way. Watch the road. We'll be there soon. Carly, yeah, we, I might. I was hoping to hear more information. Nice on job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Help don't come soon. I was hoping to hear more about when the PC version was going to come out, because that's the one I'm actually interested in playing. We're going to have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. Loot the town. Okay. So is there, like... Oh, shit. How big is this map? I didn't know there was a town and stuff. I thought it was just like you... Just this resort. Fear for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go talk to them and see what you can do. Okay. There's quite a few uh, quest icons on the map. Wait, there's more than one map? I've never played this game before, Gunner, yet. Wait, wait, so th there's more than just this map? Yo, that's... Oh, shit. Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna's too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you think you can get it for us? Go to the lighthouse and bring back a single antenna, Corey? Yes. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. Hey, Z, thank you so much for the five gifted members. I really appreciate that. And uh, everybody who receives a membership, welcome to the family. That's extremely kind of you. Come over here. I've got a job for you. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out anytime you want. Oh, there it Deal? is. Hell yeah. Yes. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. Awesome. Oh, hell yeah. That, that, that's, that's legit. Guys, we get that car fixed up. We'll have a vehicle. Uh, is this I like a scourge came from out of space. Trader, nice. Okay, so Ooh, we can buy a machete. Oh, we can buy med kits, uh, modifications. And then we can also sell stuff to them too. So we're gonna go ahead and sell pretty much all these weapons.
I'm gonna buy that machete. So I'm gonna make sure we keep my threatening diving knife. Get rid of this too. I'm gonna keep this one, this one, sell this, and I'll sell the heavy pipe too. Okay, we got yo engine part. So should I sell this or is it Are these just items to sell or can you use these? I wonder if you need these this type of stuff for crafting. Okay, well, we're at, we got some money, so we'll go ahead and we'll buy this homemade machete here. Nice. And then I'm gonna stop down and get it upgraded. Oh yeah, there it is. Might not seem like much, guys, but it's nice. Can somebody help me with this bloody door? Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? Sure. I appreciate it. Go on, then. <laughs> Zombie inside. Kill those poor bastards. Oh. Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. That's it, then. There's nothing I can do for her. What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. Pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. I'm in. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. Bloody walking corpses. Okay. More engine parts. So can I just grab Kelly, all the missions please, at just once? Calm down. And then just track them like at different points? Yeah, yeah. See, they stack up. Oh, ash to ashes. That. Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Yeah, I'm not used to being on the side, so my, uh... My, uh... Webcam. I'm gonna I'll probably just move my webcam back to the other side, guys, because I can't even move my, uh... I can't move my camera anymore. You guys get it. Just a mini map. Go. Yes. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. Mini map doesn't friend show named anything. Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. Excuse 
me. I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. It's in Bungalow 6, in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? I'll do my best. Thank you. Please, be careful. Ah, oh, man, Maggie was right. We can't just sit here and wait. So we got a lot of objectives. Um, I think I might start off with the... The car. Yeah, I think we'll start off with the car. Feeling like I'm, these bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Oh, that's, that's like max difficulty. I'll see what I can do. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. So I think I gotta retract the other one, right? Yeah. So we'll go here. We're gonna track this, which doesn't tell me where to go. Um, I think I'm not sure if there was any vehicles down in the actual resort. I know right when we spawned in, I think there was a car like right, yeah, right down here. But maybe we'll push up to the main road up here. We'll probably find more cars. Up this way, you know what I mean? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I see up on the road here, there's a good amount of cars. <laughs> Gotta upgrade this weapon too at some point. Um, was there a workshop in the... Okay, yeah, there is a workshop in here. Yeah, so once we get these car parts, we'll head back. I want to I wanna upgrade this weapon so it has better damage and durability. I'm stronger. Okay, one more, I believe.
Yeah, I'm on mouse and keyboard. All right, so I think that's all the car parts we needed. Now, I don't, I don't, can, can you store loot in cars? No. Whoa, great job. Nice. Now just give me a sec and I'll get this bitch running. And hey, there it is. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Um, I'm gonna up repair this machete. So now we're gonna upgrade it. Perfect. So it should be a lot more durable now. Uh, let's see. So I don't have what it takes to create anything right now. I just need some more metal scrap, and I can make this ripper. So we got that done. Let's get another quest rolling. While, while this guy's doing his thing. This mission is uh, find Maggie. Family matters. My precious. Bungalow 6. Let's do that. Uh, Bengus, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. What the hell? Okay, I'm on the wrong quest. I was like, dude, what the heck? That's not what it sounded like. Oh, uh, you know what? We could actually do this mission. Uh, yeah, let's go get those medical supplies for the doctor. how long it takes that guy to get the uh, car up and running. All alone in a... on the cape. I bury you! Uh, the play, thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate you. And to everybody, almost 700 likes on the stream. You guys are awesome, I really appreciate... Oh, hold on.
Oh yeah, I always I keep forgetting about the fury. We should test that out. Probably be able to test it out when we get up here with the uh, zombies near the ambulance. And Karen, thank you for the sub. Get this demon off me! I don't even know what happened. I don't even know what happened. I activated the fury and there it is. We got the paramedics bag. Requires lockpick level two. Okay, we got another skill point. Um, so we got to start getting lockpick. The longer you stay in free mode, that's sick. Skills gain stamina, so we'll roll with that. I gotta get some, uh, I gotta get some, the lock picking. Hey, Alpha Gamer, thank you for the sub. Okay, so easy clap. Let's see if there was any other missions up in this area. What is this? Him. Let's go see what this is up here. <laughs> Two at once. The bigger they are. Friend not alive? I'm, I'm so here. thirsty. The monsters can't get me. I feel dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. I think I have water, don't I? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. Whatever you can find. You find anything? Oh, thank God! Thank you! Oh, thank God! Thank you! My okay. muscles are starting to cramp up! So is she just somebody we can just keep giving water to and she'll give us money for it? Alright, so now we can make that ripper. And I'm looking for my teddy bear. I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. Will you find my teddy bear? Uh, okay. All right. 
The last time I saw him, he was in our bungalow. Number 15, where I live with my sister Jenny. Remember, his name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, and I'm sure he'll go with you. He's a brave teddy bear. Okay. I'm not I'm not one here to I'm not here to judge. Okay. You need what you need in the apocalypse, you know what I mean? If whether that's a teddy, if it's a teddy, hey. It is what it is. Okay, so we got the ambulance done. Um, so where the hell are all these bungalows at? A lot, okay, a lot of the bungalows are down here. I, we also need to go down to the bungalow to find uh, the necklace. Okay, so it seems like the car might be ready. Let's go bring this paramedic back down. I think we'll go down to the bungalows. Oh yeah, I did get an upgrade. No, I, I already used my upgrade point. Okay. This machete's pretty good. So if we're going south of here, having the vehicle doesn't really matter because obviously we're not going to drive. We can't drive through the beachside part of the resort. It's running like a dream. This ride is yours whenever you need it. Appreciate it, brother. You just saved a lot of lives, mate. You may have even saved Anne's. Thank you. Uh, spiteful sickle. Maybe there's something inside. I heard this skirt. Alright, so we'll go ahead and sell a couple of things. We'll sell this cleaver. We don't need that. Um, I'll sell the flimsy stick. And then we'll just hold on to those four weapons. Which came from outer space. I think we can make the ripper now, right? Oh no, I need I need a weapon to actually put the ripper on. So let me go see if that trader has a baseball bat or something for sale. And I could craft a ripper. Uh-uh. Oh, while we're out looting, let's see if we can find a bat. Uh, what were the other things we could use for it? Um, we either need a bat, a home run, blunt speaker, or bouncer's pal. Hey, Defiant, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so let's head down to these bungalows. Well, there's actually a couple mi missions down at the bungalows. Okay, yeah, so here we go. This is bungalow six. Where's that one? Okay, so not all of the bungalows are to the south. I thought they were all down here. No, no, okay. 
And teddy bear is down here. And I think there was one more. Yeah, so it was just ants, teddy bears down here. So yeah, guns definitely seem pretty rare right now. But what do you expect on a on a resort island? The necklace looked like it was to the north. Send you to hell. Cut off both the arms. Adam, so satisfying when you get the, the decapitations. Improving. Okay, we're getting close. Um, and there's also someone down here named Omar. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this combat skill. Trigger a special attack if you press while well, aiming for the enemy's head. Wow, okay.
Why does this bathroom seem so sketch? I think I just got... You think that bat that we just got will work for the Ripper guys? The feeble... Maybe there's something in here. Well, we should be able to make a ripper then. We also gotta repair. We also gotta repair this uh, machete soon. Frightening knife requires level fourteen. Holy shit! Bad. We're nowhere near being able to use that. I'll switch over to my bat for now. I don't. So if you break a melee weapon before you get a chance, does it like disappear, or can can I can I fix it up still later on? Everything. Don't let him live! Ah! Oh. Oh. What the fuck was that, dude? And no bloody end to it. Blood. Blood everywhere. You want some two fucking li oh, Okay, we're good. Oh, there's a teddy. Soaking into everything. Yeah, I didn't even know there was human en so there's human enemies in this game too. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so the necklace that's up north, I believe, in the at the diamonds bungalow. Let me see. Let's see if there's any other stuff down to the south here. Oh, okay. You can actually see the flags for the missions on the map. Uh, I don't see any down here. Oh, that's like way far up north. Kelly's husband or whatnot. 
That's the lighthouse for the single amplifier. That's the fuel. Let's go uh, meet up with Omar here. The fuck is that? Come here for a second. Can Omar, dude, scared the shit out of me, dude. You not hear that? I need some health too. I got a proposition. Omar, listen, dude. Sounds like a fucking dinosaur. Wait, back up. Is that a bite mark? You're not sick, are you? Okay, listen. There's this tall hombre that owes me some money. Mucho dinero. But he came down with whatever this infection is and paid me what he owes me and exactly his first priority. I'm thinking his money's inside his bungalow. But I need the key to get in there. It's not like the poor hijo that puta needs it anymore. Hey, listen. If you get me the key, we'll split the cash. Deal? Acquire the key from Omar's undead deadbeat? Yeah, too easy, bro. Absolutely. Good, good. Listen, he's hard to miss. Very tall. And I'm pretty sure I saw him at the bar. Get back here as soon as you have the key, all right? I got you, dude. Was that it right down there? I just gotta go kill... Kill these guys? Whatever we do, just stay away from that. It's kind of in the direction of that shit, though. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. So what the fuck is over here? What mission was this? Out of stock talk. Oh, that was a mission. Look at that. Oh, it's so bloody bright. Where the hell am I? Oh, yeah, it's coming back to me now. I was chased in here by a mob of bloody maniacs. I was able to lock them out, but I had to kill the bloody bartender. The crazy git was trying to bite me. What's a gift? I have nothing to eat, but I had a hell of a lot to drink. But now I'm all out and hung over as hell and need a bit of the hair of the dog that bit me, huh? Think you can find me some more booze? I'll make it worth your while. Yes. Good. I'll wait here if you don't mind. I'm not really up to moving around. Oh, I just need a drink to get myself. Good. I'll wait here, if you don't mind. 
I'm not really up to moving around. Is that just a repeatable quest too? So I don't want to give him too much alcohol. Good. I'll wait here if you don't mind. I'm not really up to moving around. Okay, I only got one more thing. Oh, yeah, we just wasted mad alcohol. Okay, well, we got that done. Um, let's go get the key for from Omar's uh, little homeboy. Yeah, um, if I can get the wife to come back down here, we'll, we'll do the raffle right now. I think there's bottles of alcohol over here. Yeah, that showed me where Maybe I could there's something inside. Where I could find more uh alcohol, which is cool. Alright, thank you so much. Son of Gunder, I appreciate the I appreciate the sub. Seriously, thank you so much. Okay, let's see what uh Let's do this thing for Omar. Am I going the right way? Let's go. 
It's almost freaking broken. Oh, we can hold more weapons now, guys. Look, look, look. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to make sure we got the Spiteful Sickle. We'll have that equipped here. And then we're going to turn this one into the Ripper. Hey, White, thank you for the sub. Got another bottle of alcohol here. I think it's inside. Okay, so the guy we're looking for isn't in here. Gotta follow the blood trail. Matthew, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. I appreciate them, man. This big ass. We gotta hit a oh a workbench here soon. My weapons are pretty banged up. Got a good knockdown there, which was awesome. Hey, where the hell's Omar at? Bring this back down to Omar. Miro and uh, Sophie, and thank you for the sub, guys. Yeah, we're going to be playing Scum later on tonight. Uh, after this, actually. Uh, yeah, so I, I've always wanted to play Dark, uh, Dead Island 2. I just never really had any motivation or time to play it. And then uh, as soon as Dead Island 2, or Dead Island 1, uh, as soon as Dead Island 2 was announced, I was like, you know what? 
That shit looked awesome. I was like, you know, let me uh, let me play that island one. Let's keep moving, amigos. And uh, yeah, uh, now and now I'm really happy that I did because this shit is awesome. What's the what's the keypad, dude? That's it. Yes. <laughs> Muchas gracias, amigos. Got it. All right. Here's your cut. Nice. Two hundred thirty-one. Maybe there's something in here. Yeah, we're gonna head to the workbench, uh, repair weapons, and I'm gonna craft a uh, ripper. Wait, does Omar still- oh, Omar still has some work for me. Amigos, I hear there are more survivors at the lifeguard tower. Can you help me get there? If you do, I'll give you this weapon. Promise. One shot takes down a mob of those pendejos. Okay. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. We're back there now. Gracias. We better go, huh? So he he's just going back to my main base, I believe, right? Be just fast, motherfuckers, doesn't it? Got it. Yo, you notice when you chop their heads off, they become bald? Our base. He better not have been over exaggerating about this weapon, man. Shake a leg, how you doing? Hey, I always remember my amigos. What? What did he give me? Uh, did he give me a gun? <gasps> oh, I gotta be level 10. Damn it, dude. It's all good. We got a gun, though. It's cool. What level? I, that's five more levels, man. What's in here? Oh, I was so excited. All right, so let's go ahead and craft the Ripper. All right, let me see here. Um... I was happy, you I know, I freaking got a gun, and I'm like, hell yeah, dude, let's do it, and then, uh, 
Even though I don't have any ammo for it, we still had a gun, you know what I mean? Same thing with this, like, level 14? I should probably- I, I, I'll keep it, but... Yeah, we'll get rid of this one. That one's 91, or- that one's 64, this one's 77, so... This one's ma this one's level four, this one's level one. So this yeah, it seems like the threatening diamond knife. This one, it's uh whoop. Oh, this is a level two. Okay, I will so we'll sell it. It all depends on the weapon's level. Um I'm playing it on PC right now. Um Ted and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Like, this is only freaking level three. So, the bleeding baseball bat, that's the Ripper, right? Get rid of this level one nailed bat. Things to trash. And we got a revolver. Rich came from out of space. Uh, you, to level up faster, you can claim rewards from the challenges in the menu. These? I haven't completed any. Yeah, I, I can't claim anything, though. Yeah, people keep saying to go and claim. I can't claim anything. There's nothing to claim. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and repair this machete. Uh, we'll repair this. Okay, so we're gonna upgrade this bad boy. Upgrade this. 120. Yeah, so now our damage is getting pretty high. Even this bleeding baseball bat, that thing does. Has a lot of force, so it probably knocked down people pretty good. Uh, weak diving knife, we'll go ahead and upgrade this. And then these two I can't even use right now, so there's no point. Alright, and then we're gonna go ahead and get all these equipped. go perfect so now we gotta head up north I think we're gonna take the car I do got this down here I'm not gonna bring him any more alcohol right now though uh, let's yeah we're gonna take the car we'll drop off the teddy bear and then we'll uh, we'll continue heading up we'll head up to the gas station yeah so we'll drop off teddy bear and then we'll go to gas station It's on the other side. Blue Blur. Hey, thank you so much, Blue Blur. What the five dollars super chat? This takes me this uh takes me back. Oh, woke a sense of sadistic zombie abuse I didn't know I had. <laughs> And uh, thank you, everybody, for over 800 likes on the stream. You guys don't really understand how huge that is.
This is the Ripper, baby. Oh, Jensen! A hey, congrats! I didn't even know you were over there. I don't, I don't know, I haven't checked. Yeah, he said he did. Hey, Jensen, congratulations on winning the copy of uh, Dying Light. Hey, Jensen, right now, though, make, make, send me a message on uh, Discord, and uh, I'll send you the code, brother. Uh, it'd be, it's easier though if you do it while I'm on stream so I can make sure it's you. You find anything? Teddy! Where have you been? You've been a bad boy. Say thank you to the nice people. Muscles are stolen. Nothing bolt mod. Hey, Lock Dogs, thank you for the sub. Yeah, random, there's a lot of people, man. A lot of people in the chat, so it's... It's hard for me to keep up with, uh... People, especially when I'm, you know, trying to play the game. Okay, so now we're going to head up to the gas station. Um, just kind of follow this road, and when we get to... Yeah, we're going to take a left at the, the Y. I can see the sign. Oh. Left right here. Oh shit. The yo, the windshield got messed up. <laughs> Kenneth, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Hold on one sec, guys. Give me one sec. And George, I, I appreciate you, uh, you know, sending, getting the code and stuff for the raffle. That's really awesome, man. All right, Jensen, appreciate you, brother. Congratulations. Code is yours, ma'am. All right. So the gas station doesn't seem too bad. We're here looking for some fuel, right? I take that back to his dumb. Hey, 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 Raver for life. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to the family. Oh no, okay, it's not a zombie, it's hey, person. Hey, you! Go over to the door! 
Uh, give me a sec to open it. Come on! I don't know. Now I'm kind of sus. Now... The thing is, is I, I wouldn't have thought anything of it, but now I'm like, yo, are are people gonna like try to like do some shit and set me up? Now I'm, I'm feeling uh, a little on edge. These guys might uh, might try to do something stupid and I'm gonna have to chop Maybe them up. Maybe there's something useful. What, you want gas? Oh, sorry, the pumps ain't working. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. You know, maybe there's another way in. They try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you. And take some canisters with. You know, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. And now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely... Oh, I gotta bring my Streamlabs back up. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Alexander, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, let me see the shovel. Okay, so we gotta. Oh, we actually gotta like bring the canisters like that. Should I probably... wonder if I should, like, clear the way a little bit. Let's grab one of the... Oh, yeah, we can we can use the truck, right? Let me, uh... Can I bring the truck up on this side? I thought it was all barricaded off. Yeah, I could back the truck in here. Um, it's actually random. It's about, uh, 3.30 in the afternoon for me. Okay, so we're gonna load up some of these gas canisters. I, like, look through the... There we go. Kind of hard to see without a rear view. Okay, so we're going to throw the gas cans in here. Are we incoming? Nice. Okay, so you can't store like loot loot in the in the trunk, but you can carry gas cans around. That's pretty cool. Grab as many of these canisters as possible. I think there's four. Yeah, there's four. So we can get all four. Get these gas cans filled up. Yeah, this is empty. Okay. So we fill these over at the uh, the warehouse, right? Oh, is the warehouse like right here? Oh, the warehouse is right here. Got you. I see what you're saying. 
I thought the warehouse was somewhere else. Like, we had to drive over there. But, okay, if the warehouse is right here. a better place shit that dude didn't die gotcha bitch there it is homemade knife that's actually pretty good damage So we can unblock the door. Let's get the Jenny on. Oh, there's canisters in here too. And a locked box. Oh shit, look at this. We can uh open it this way too. Aha! Alright, so we're gonna go move the truck. Once we get this powered up. Okay, so the pumps are back on. Let's get our... So let's get the truck moved up here. We'll get these gas cans filled. Keep going to the wrong side of the car. Uh, so how many of you guys in chat are kind of like me and have never played this game or never seen this game before and this is your first time? It seems like so many of you guys are, are, are vets and already have played the shit out of this. Good. Oh, so there is some people in the chat that never at first time. Okay, there it is. We got one gas can here. Should I fill up all four? Or is there no need? Okay, so yeah, we only needed to fill up one for the mission. Yep, I'm sitting away. Can I get in the car? <laughs> uh, yeah, we are going to be playing Uncharted on the channel. Yep, for sure. I should have went to the signal antenna. It's all good. We'll drop the gas off and we'll drive back up. Honestly, the driving isn't even that bad. I, I thought 
I know some people said the driving feels bad, but it, it feels pretty good. Sean, with the super chat, first time I've seen the game, just bought it. <laughs> hey, well, hey, if I'm introducing this game to some of you guys, um, I hope you enjoy it because I'm definitely enjoying Hurry it. Hurry it up! These fuckers are stuck. What? Hey, thank you. This should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. I got the bodies piled up outside. Guess we better do this. There it is. And I believe uh, we got the necklace up. Oh, Mike gave us some mollies, guys. And we got a skill point. Uh, we're going to go with... An, I, we need to start working on lock picking, but how do I get down here? What do, what do I got to do? I think maybe you gotta have a certain amount of skills in each tier before you unlock the next tier. Maybe not. Or maybe you gotta- maybe it's level locked? Like you gotta be a certain level? Oh, you have to have all three? Okay. Some fucking vacation, huh? I can help you out, though. You need a weapon, I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them. They burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple, and I can make you a few cocktails, if you catch my drift. Okay, so this guy can, uh, craft mollies for us. Absolutely. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. So you wanna burn those bastards? Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. Okay, awesome. So he can craft me up some mollies. Now, throwables, equip. All right, touch up our weapons a little bit. Yeah, this, uh, the sickle got banged up pretty quick. I only swung it a few times. Um, it got, it got banged up pretty fast. All right, so now we're going to head north up here and... Uh, Roger Nelson is in there along with another car and the necklace. Okay, so we're gonna head up to this point here And again, I went to the wrong side of the car Playing this as long, uh, man. I'm I'm excited for Dying Light 2 now, or Di uh, Dead Island 2 now, man. I I didn't think this game was gonna be this awesome. I don't know why. Is this it? It is. It's it. Yo, the throw is pretty nice, too, man. Help me. 
me, please. If it's blurry, uh, you might have to change your uh, settings, please. Envy. Because uh, it's not blurry for anybody else, is it? Uh, YouTube will sometimes compress the shit out of your and drop you down to like 420 or 4 ah. whatever. Rush, thank you for the sub. Yeah, four it, it, four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll drop. Uh, yeah, YouTube will sometimes drop you down to like the lowest of the lowest uh, video quality, and you got to manually go change it. Okay, what do you want me to move this car out your way, lady? You can't. I need your help. Okay, let's see what she has for us. Please, my husband, he's bleeding. Can you help us? With what? What do you need? Come closer! N no, fuck, dude. I don't just... What? Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell. When I saw that broke down car, part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because... He threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to... Uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. <laughs> you gotta believe me. Shit, he got bit. Uh, but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Uh, rabies. I don't know. Fuck. Who the hell knows? But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it... I, I don't want to bloody hurt Misty, her. Misty, thank you for the sub. To James at the lighthouse? Yes. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. Our brother James should be there. He'll take her in. All right, Jessica, we gotta go. Your your husband here is gonna turn. <laughs> What the fuck is that? What is that red thing? Okay, I got the necklace. Right. Do I gotta talk to her? Maybe she'll get in the car with me. Damn, she pushed the whole fucking truck. There we go. Damn, she just leaving her husband. She didn't even give him a kiss. She didn't even say goodbye. Nothing. I mean, I wouldn't even bite the shit out you. Okay, let me see. So where is the lighthouse here? That's Luke Craig. I have no clue who that is. Um, lighthouse. And that's where we need to do the signal amplifier too. So that works out perfect. Oh, that's a bus. Yep, there it is. Can't be shit talking. I'm the one that hit him, lady. You didn't put in on this. I think we got a live one. Hey, up here. Oh, 
Okay, so is this like another survivor like it's encampment? Nice People living in the lighthouse? You're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the giants. I'm sure I'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be glad to see you still alive. Can you check on my husband? It's getting better. James will probably want to talk to you first. I would why would you want me to go back down there, lady? You know what's gonna happen. Where the hell did I put? Okay, so we got another trader here. It's got a strong sickle for sale. It's quite expensive. So I think I'm gonna sell this frightening knife because by the time I get to the level of using it, it's probably not even gonna be that good. Um, I'll sell this. Keep that. Got my Molotovs. And the homemade double blade? What is that? Okay, there we go. So now I can now I can get lock picking here soon. Oh wait, oh I see what you guys are saying. You can level up everything more than once. So I didn't have to technically get I just had to get three. Oh, uh, you know, we could have got three ninjas or, uh, man, I would have really rather got three of these, to be honest with you. I'm tracking now. It is what it is, though. I see. All right. Um, so what is this? Double blade? So I also want to get the uh, the more uh, inventory spots. James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. Yeah, we gotta do the, uh... Holy shit, you're alive? I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now... We're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Knocking on heaven's door to help the people around the lighthouse? Absolutely. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? Okay, so before I get invested in the lighthouse, I want to finish off the station we are working in first. So we got to bring her the necklace. What other missions did we have out of there? So this is what we need to do. We need to bring back the single signal amplifier. Hey, come a little closer. Unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Further up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Sounds like a good time, actually. I'll try. Good. And when help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. I 
I'm approaching the location where I'm to meet my informant. I must say, everything seems oddly quiet and deserted here. I'm a little concerned that my informant has been exposed. <sighs> I hope he's all right. The door appears to be ajar. Mr. Anomo? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. There's, uh, there's blood everywhere. I don't see a body, though. Mr. Anomo? <laughs> what the hell? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh my God! He's always thinking for the sub. I think I just killed her. Bashed her head in with a fucking lamp. She was out of her mind. She tried to bite me for Christ's sake. She must have been 70 years old. Someone else is back there. I gotta... I gotta get out of here. Yeah, we'll be playing scum today. Okay, we're gonna come back here and get through. do some missions for people. Where do I, I get the... something inside. Signal antenna from, though. Those are the flares. What the hell? We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers power in the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. Absolutely. All right, good. The transformers are in the northern part of the gold bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage shed. I'm Darwin, by the way. Okay, so I'll take it the storage. We got to do this mission in order to get in there to get the the signal amplifiers anyway. So it's all good. We'll help this dude out. Um. Okay, so that's not too far. Hey, Abdul, I'm glad you're enjoying the content, man. And guys, thank you. Over 900 likes on the channel. That's absolutely... In or on the, on the stream, that's crazy. I appreciate it. Have I done a 24-hour stream? No. Oof. That's unhealthy for the body. Uh, we did do like an 11 and a half or 11-hour stream uh, when I hit 50K. All right, let's head out. Of course, I went to the wrong side. So there's the diamond bungalow area. Ooh, was that over here? Let me see something. I think we had that. Yeah, the diamond bungalow, this mission here. Oh no, that was way up there. Okay. Yeah, we're nowhere near that. All right.
Ooh, there it is. This little knife is fast, man. I haven't even upgraded it yet. Okay, this is a spot. Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go! Hey, where's the other one? Okay, across the way. Might be able to pop it on what's her face's husband. Deadly baseball bat. That was a purple. Wow. We should upgrade that, right? Like, that's literally twice as good as the base the baseball bat we have right now. If we turn that into like a a, a, a ripper, I, I think that might be really good. So we can find a little bit of health around here, maybe. Maybe there's something in here. There's a katana? Oh. You know I, I would love to get one of my hands on one of those. Alright, let's go check on her husband. It's a good chance he's probably turned by now. There it is. Took care of him. MB, thank you for the sub and welcome. I'm I'm loving the game. Man. It's a it's a great amount of fun. Rending claw mod. Oh, oh. 
Jacob, thank you for the sub. Got it. Everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power. Hey, control for the lighthouse. kill thing for the sub. This is for you. Thanks for the help. The world's gone fucking mad. Let's get back to the car. And of course, I keep going. I'm, just, I'm gonna consistently do that, guys. It just is what it is. You know what happens when you're you're so used to it in real life. Okay, so now we should be able to get in. Yo, Days Gone is one of the greatest zombie games of all time. That game is amazing. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Thank you for the sub. Didn't hit the bus this time. I send you to hell. <laughs> nah, Days Gone is really good, Dutch. Really good, man. Metal, thank you for the sub. All right, so this should get us inside of the the lighthouse. Where the hell did I put that? Can you come closer? Or inside the little storage room. Okay. If Marcus said it's going to work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid.
Looks like it worked. Come on, I'll open the storage shed for you. Awe inspiring wrench. Thank you, brother. There's a signal amplifier for the mission, duct tape. Okay, so now I want to turn that new bat we got right here. We're going to repair it. All right, and I want to see if I can modify that. Mm, what do we need? For the ripper. We need a circular blade. Uh, let's go check the trader, see if he has any for sale. I ate everything in the mini bar and I'm starving here. By chance, I have a circular blade. He does not. So we'll just hold off on it for right now. What do we have here? Alright, let's get this single amp down. Now you guys said you could fast travel. Where? Oh shit, look at that. So we get us fast travel back down to the lifeguard tower? Oh shit, that's cool. Also going to check the trader here to see if they have a circular saw blade. I heard this scourge. Yep, there it is. Wow, that's $500. That's expensive, man. But we'll get a good ripper from Came this. From out of space. So we'll go ahead, we'll create the ripper. Using this purple bat. This thing should have monster damage, right? Go ahead and we'll repair it. And then I'm gonna upgrade. Wow, dude. That's an expensive upgrade, man. So I can't even, like, spam upgrade that one like I was able to for the others. And then we're gonna, uh, this double blade here is actually pretty good. It's got more, it's gonna have more damage than my, uh, homemade machete. So we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, upgrade that too. I'm going to sell some of this crap to the trader. Okay, so that's upgraded. So that one we're going to equip there. Um, we got our double knife here. We got our molotovs here. And the rest of this... Actually, this... Yeah, this sickle's pretty good. Maybe I'll start using the sickle over the machete, too. And we'll just get rid of that one. Weak diving knife. Yeah. The double blade, the bat, the bleeding baseball bat we could sell. 
And I'm, I'm holding on to this revolver for dear life, just for the, the, the chance to be able to use it. Uh, even though it doesn't seem like it's the greatest, it, it's still a gun. I got a lot of uh, items here that we could potentially sell, but I don't know what I'll need for upgrades and what, uh, you know, is kind of junk. So I'll just kind of hold on to everything right now. Okay, so let me see. What other missions do we have here? We gotta go bring her... her necklace, and I think she's upstairs, right? Oh no, she's downstairs. What do you want, Dominic? Nice! Maybe we can finally get this fucker to work. Thanks! Oh yeah, he wanted the signal antenna. Two, that's a good amount of cash there. Sam, what is that? An alien infection is Oh, she is. And oh my god, guys, thank you for almost a thousand likes on this stream. Uh, Holy crap. With James. Yes. This is it. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, to go with the sickle. So Here's the reward. I, I thought you could get like outfits or something thank in this you. game. Yeah, we'll sell that. Okay. Excellent. depend on any and but ourselves now all right we'll go talk to this guy upstairs and we pretty much finished most of the missions down here still got a couple in our uh in our log we're gonna check out like finding Maggie I know what we would have done without you, mate. You got a moment to talk? Of course, brother. I, I don't even know. I haven't even been trying to do any main missions. What are the main missions? Okay, so I'm doing a main mission right now. I got the radio going, but I'm not hearing anything. Either this guy is farther away than I thought, or the monsoon's messing with the transmission. This may take a while, but don't worry. I have something for you to do in the meantime. We're running very low on food and water. Think you can find some. Search the wholesale pool sign for cans of food. I, I already got a bunch of that, dude. Okay. Okay, then. Don't bother with the hotel. With the power out, it's way too dangerous in there. Check the bars by the swimming pools. Bring everything you can find. Anything at all. Okay? In the meantime, I'll keep trying to reach this guy. That's all there was? Oh, bloody hell, that won't do. We need to find more. Okay. There are two petrol stations in the area, right? One by the lighthouse and one by the tunnel to the city. There might be some food and drinks there. I need you to go and bring everything you can find. Go uh, check the two gas stations and bring uh, two packs of juice. Sure. You might need a car to get it all back. Look for one at the station. All right, too easy, brother. Yeah, that's the alcohol.
Okay, so for instance, this quest here, I don't want to do that one right now. Maggie. Quest giver, so let's track this. This one didn't show up on the map anywhere, I don't believe. Right? I wonder if we just gotta like, what if she's at like one of these locations and we just haven't found her? She could have pers- she could have been one of the people up at the lighthouse for all I know. I haven't- I haven't checked. Okay, and then Family Matters. That's up at the Diamond Bo Bungalow. That's super far away. Get the flares at the wreck. Um... Yeah, yeah, so those two. So right now, let's do this, uh... Let's go get the juice. Hey, DB, with the five gifted members, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much. And to everybody who receives a membership, hey, welcome to the family. I do appreciate it. And I want to tell you guys, uh, we had over a thousand likes on this stream. And uh, that really means a lot. I, I, that's crazy. I, I'm, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am because I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. A lot of fun. Let me check the map really quick again. Let's see here. Okay, there's the Rex up there. Yeah, we'll get the juice. We'll get the juice. Oh, shoot. Okay, so that's the only thing. When you fast travel, you, you leave your car wherever it was. Uh, I think there was another one on the road up here. So I could fast travel back to the lighthouse, but it's too late. Now I'm committed. Plus, it's not super far. You know what I mean? It's not like we, we had to walk all that far. Oh my god, another skill point available. Oh, we'll get lock picking. Maybe there's something inside. Here's a car, I believe. I think this is the one we could drive, right?
pinned in there. What happened to the survivors that were here? Required level three. I need to find some heals real quick. There we go. Got a big guy in the front. Send you to a better place. Damn, those dudes that were here, fucking, they're dead, man. Okay, we can open this. Terrifying nail hammer. Grab that, sell it. Some booze, can of food. So we got one pack of juice so far. Now, where did they say the other one was? Um, how the hell do we even get over there? We just take the road this way then? Then that's a good hike right there, guys. Holy crap. Looks like we're driving. So we're going to follow the road. It's going to be a nice little drive. For some damn juice, man. Okay, so here we're going to... Uh, yeah, we'll stay straight, go up the hill. That brings us, what, down to the hotel itself, I believe? He needs our help. <sighs> Fuck. All right, lady. What's up? driving to the lifeguard tower when something jumped in front of the car. John lost control and we crashed. He's still there, trapped inside the car. You have to help me get him out, please. What do you mean by something, though? Was it just like the normal stuff that we've already been seeing or is it something new? So I, I don't want to like... Let's do this. Oh, thank you. Quickly, over here. 
This just better not be a fucking setup. I'll chop your shit off. James, thank you for the sub. Okay. Ooh. Get over here. Don't. How are you gonna tell me what to do, dude? I'm here to help you. See what the fuck you did, lady? Bro, listen, get the hell out the car, man. Stop playing. Let's go. Please be careful. I'm not going out there. What do you mean be careful? I'm not going anywhere, dude. I'm right here. Please hurry. Hurry and do what? What do you want me to do? Please be careful. Oh, we got a med kit. Please hurry. Oh, thank goodness. John! John, you're gonna be okay. Here, take what you need out of the trunk. Whatever you want. I was gonna take it anyways. What do you mean? That blue blur. Thank you so much for the super chat. Careful with the throws. Stuff can end up missing. Yo, that I kind of just realized that when I threw that knife and I missed. I'm like, yo, that shit could end up literally anywhere. So I think we got to take a left here, right? Yeah, take a left here. Travel to arena lobby. Don't know what that means. So my advice, holy shit, to you guys, is if um, if you guys are you know super excited about the the announcement of Di uh, Dead Island Two, yeah, and, and you really haven't played much of that, yo, go back and play it. It's totally worth it. I because uh, the thing about older games, you know, especially you know, 2009, 2010 era, they're they're a lot of them are they're very clunky feeling they're just you know you could you could when you play the game they're very very dated so it's hard to go back and play games that old but i gotta be honest with you guys uh, for how old this game is it feels good like it really does feel good i would say it's it's almost on par with like like a dying light you know what i mean minus like the parkour and stuff like the melee is a little uh it takes a little getting used to it like you know because there's no like dodge button uh but it, it's really good All right, so we'll just keep heading south down this road. It's going to be on our left. Yeah, same people that... This is made by the same people who made uh, Dying Light. Ah! 
now they're really dead. Ooh, some cop cars. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if there's any loot in the trunks. I see cop cars and I think of guns. Nothing here. That was worth a check. And of course I keep going to the room. Look inside! Getting closer to the few the petrol station. Uh there is a dodge button use jump. Well what? Seriously? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it does work. Let's clear this place out. Anybody else? <laughs> this is happening. So I got to turn off the power to be able to get back there then? Okay, there's one. I 
I think maybe I had to climb up that truck over here. Yeah, it's way over. Uh, Evil West? I don't know. I don't know about that. So I wonder if I could, how do you set, I wonder if I hit it. I wonder if you hit it, pick it up and throw it. You know what I mean? Like if I hit it, it'll be like, kind of like in Dying Light and then you can throw it in there. Oh, if you hit it, it explodes. Oh, so I got to throw my weapon at it. Got it. Got it. That works. That was a good throw. Yes. Got it. So we can repair our weapons here. Damn it. Let's take a look. So we still have one more to go. Let's uh, repair our weapons. So we got the one in there. We got the one in here. Where's the last one at? with the juices uh maybe this maybe this building to the south oh no that's the uh pumps Nestle Crunch, I really appreciate the super chat. Here's some candy for the zombie chip. I appreciate you, man. Okay, so we got two of the three switches. Let me read this quest.
over here near the uh, exit. I seen this area over there. It looked like a tunnel. I think this is the tunnel entrance to the city, right? Do I got to build, like, a little thing to climb? Zombies can't climb, right? Yeah, we're good. The fire killed them anyway, so... So now we got all the power off. Sons of the Forest is supposed to be coming out next month. I'm so excited for that. That's one of my most anticipated games of the year. So he can't swing at us with no arms. Let's get our stamina back. <laughs> he turned him into a screamer. Get wrecked, dude. That zombie smacked the hell out of us. <laughs> Shoot the screamer. Okay, so we don't have any heals. I, I do got the health kit. If I take one more hit, I'll use the health kit, but... Let's get level 2 lock picking right now. We'll be able to open this chest. Uh, crippling hammer. Hmm. I thought this was going to... I thought... Oh, okay. I was like... I could swear we had to enter the gas station this way. Okay, we got another juice pack here.
Make sure the gas station is clear before I pick up that container of juice. Okay, so can we bring back more than two, or does he only want two? Yeah, bring back two packs of juice, okay. So there it is. You'd think you would want more, as many packs as you could possibly bring. I'm so excited to see what this game has in store for us guys. This is this is a good good game. So much more than what I uh, expected. So I got to deliver the juice on the other side. Oh, my bad. Or do we just got to pull it in? I think maybe we just got to pull it in. I'm loving this game, Alex. Definitely loving it. Oh, I see. We gotta put them down, I think, right here. Yep. Okay, we gotta put the juice right there. open for thank you man I've tried every frequency I can and nothing mate silence no trace of that guy who said he could help us Dominic's trying to boost the transmitter but who knows how long that'll take meanwhile everything you bring disappears in a flash we're almost down to nothing 
I was afraid to even think about it, but I don't think we have a choice. I need you to go look for supplies in the town. Can you do this for us? Like in the town town? Like he wants us to go in the city? All right. The tunnel leads We're gonna finish out how blocked. Those things are everywhere. But I have a plan. There's a truck we can use to punch through. I saw some blokes pull an 18 wheeler with a broken axle out of a ditch where they once. If anything can get through the tunnel, it's that rig. Guaranteed. Now get to the parking garage and bring back that truck. Once you do that, then we'll worry about the rest. So he wants us to go into the hotel parking garage, get a big ass truck to clear the tunnel so we can go into the city. Um That that sounds pretty dope. Before we do that though, we're gonna be working with the people up at the uh up at the lighthouse for sure, because there's still a couple and we got Luke. Luke up here. Yeah, I want to I want to work with these guys uh, first before we go ahead and punch a hole through the thing down here and go into the city. But all right, guys, so it's been almost four hours. Uh, we're going to end the, this episode here. I, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I am so happy that I decided to play this because this game is it was it's so much more than i thought it's so much more than i thought uh but yeah we're gonna be we're gonna continue this uh obviously with the amount of uh reception and likes oh, well over 1100 likes we got over 1100 likes uh there'll definitely be more episodes of this so yeah this is gonna be uh we're gonna play it all the way through um and there it is but thank you guys so much for hanging out uh we're gonna be playing some scum here in a little bit so hopefully uh, i'll see a bunch of guys over there for that but if you have it on your way out, a smash that like button. If you guys are enjoying the comments or the content, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys thought about the game, especially if it's your first time playing or if you're a veteran. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hey, consider subscribing. It really does help out. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.